Hello and welcome back to SirKidSaid.com. We have got some shit to talk about today. I wanted to get a few things off my chest that have come to my attention lately. Namely, this fat, pasty, doughboy, pasty, this motherfucker has all the money in the world and you can't get a personal trainer, maybe some lipo, motherfucker, put a shirt on. Anyway, I heard Elon Muskie had thrown shade at uh, Bob Iger recently because uh, Iger and Disney decided to pull their um, donations funding commercial ads from Twitter. And, uh, you know, Muskie told uh, Iger to, you know, go fuck himself and a couple other things. And by no means do I like either of these motherfuckers, okay? Both of them can tie their dicks in knots and go burn in hell somewhere. And Muskie, I cannot believe I'm about to say this, had valid points. Disney is a clusterfuck. And this $800 million motherfucker is at the center of said clusterfuck. Now, obviously, things are not set in stone yet, and they could change, and they should change, but... The series that he is not bringing back for Disney Plus to save money. Remember, he's individually worth $800 million in order to save money. And that they are bringing back are just retarded. Um, he's bringing back Miss Marvel, which there's a lot of connective tissue there. She can tie a lot of things into her series. I do like that. That's a good idea. Uh, but he's also bringing back She-Hulk. Nobody wants this shit. And I love the actress that played the lead role, but that last episode... <sighs> mm. That last episode was just trash. I, I'm, and it ruined like the entire series for me. I don't understand how you're bringing back She-Hulk, but you're not bringing back the Falcon and the Winter Soldier when the Falcon knew Captain America has a big screen movie coming out, which after that movie drops, you can neatly tie the, the after, after effects of said movie into a six episode series, which could also lead into the Thunderbolts. And why are nobody excited about the Thunderbolts? Everybody knows the best version of the Thunderbolts was Deadpool, Punisher, Elektra, Asian Venom, Red Hulk. These folks you got on there right now, ain't nobody hyped about them. Excuse me. Ain't no comic book fans hyped about them. So the sense that went in that decision is just like, you must have had some special kind of shit in that crack pipe that morning. You made those decisions, okay? I mean, seriously. What the fuck was it? From Air to High? I don't know. What the fuck you mix in there? Um, other shows that you are not bringing back but could be tied into the bigger picture. <clears throat> You're not bringing back Moon Knight. The fuck? You're not bringing back or introducing a or having more appearances from Werewolf by Night. Um, as far as I've heard, you killed the Ghost Rider series. And all of those, with the addition of Blade, all lead up to The Midnight Suns, which, with the addition of uh, Doctor Strange, who brought them all together, is something people want to go see. Oh, and by the way, why are we still discussing whether or not Blade should be R-rated. It's fucking Blade, okay? How could... What's that old saying? Give the fans what they want. I don't know what fans you're listening to, 
who told you that you can get away with a PG-13 blade? I, I just don't. I, who the fuck are you listening to? Um, the decisions that you're making, Iger, in the wake of everything that was exposed during the writers and actors strike, because I had no idea just how fucking comically diabolical you are, you cheap fuck. Um, you've got to start making better decisions. You've got to start giving people what they want. And in closing, I would also like to ask, what the fuck ever happened to uh, the Vision series? Something else get, that could be tied into the landscape. The visions out there wandering around right now, rebooted, all white, and we could follow him around for four or six episodes, or three or six episodes, while he learns this humanity again. That's a series. And then he can fight Kang, or it's going to be Dr. Doom now, which from a comic book um, angle makes sense because the two of them are often at odds. They both respect each other, but the first chance they get, they'll turn on each other. So it, the easiest thing for this um, getting rid of Kang is Dr. Doom kills him. That That's a wrap, you know, because we comic kind of book fans know that that happens a lot. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I, I heard about this and I'm madder at Muskie for making me agree with him. But uh, yeah, Iger, you need to unfuck yourself with a quickness. I'm just saying.